it's my turn. I'm just, I, I like wake up every day so depressed. Like I hate it. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, but let's find out. I, I think I know why. You need to know why. But I'm telling you, we're going to make this a quest. Okay? If I make the resources available to you, you're going to grab on with both hands. And then you're going to come back here and we're going to talk some more. Because I tell you what, you might have gotten robbed of a couple of years. But what I want is for you to give yourself back the rest of your life. We can do this. We can do this, okay? All right, coming up, a 17-year-old girl from Southern California who says she's living a lie. And she wants to confess it all to her parents. We'll be right back. My dad tells me how proud he is of me, and it really kills me, because if they knew everything, they wouldn't say how proud they are of me. My next guest, 17-year-old Lindsay from Southern California, sent me an email through our teen talk message board on drphil.com. Now, this Southern California teen says she feels like she is living a double life, and the secret she's been keeping from her parents is eating her up inside. Hi, Dr. Phil. To my parents, I'm a pretty well-rounded child and don't really get into trouble. My dad tells me how proud he is of me, and it really kills me, because if they knew everything, they wouldn't say how proud they are of me. I crave male attention. I always have a boyfriend. I'm never single. I have sent Racy photos to over 30 guys total. Some of these photos have ended up on Facebook, and all of my friends, including my mom, have seen them. It was completely embarrassing and devastating. I didn't even want to go to school. I lost my virginity when I was 14 to a guy who was 19. I've had sex with at least five guys, and my dad still thinks I'm a virgin. So now, whenever I go to school, people call me a slut, a whore. It really hurts me. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude, which is why I wrote in to you. I really hope you can help me and my family. Thank you. You're obviously a very intelligent young woman. You, you, you speak very well. You, you have a great capacity for insight. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Why are you doing this? I don't know. I'm just really sick of living a lie. All I know is I'll find somebody that, you know, I think cares about me a lot, and then I either run or they run. Somebody runs. It's usually me, though. Well, let's talk about the photos. Why do you send these photos to people? Because you know once they're out there, mm -hmm. and these are fully nude photos, right? Um, some of them are, yes. Yeah, and, and you know once they're out there, they're out there. Mm -hmm. They could send them to the pastor in your church. They could send them to your college admissions board. They can send them to everybody they know. They could blow them up and put them up in the locker room. Like my parents have told me that before. I, I guess but you, I but just... But yeah, you said you would still do it again. Mm-hmm. Um... I'm not really sure. I guess just the fact that somebody wants them, like, cares and I don't know. I don't think they care, though. I know they don't care, so I honestly don't know why. Well, but that's not an answer. You, 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 there's some reason you do it. You, you said that you crave male attention. Mm-hmm. And you're flattered that they want them because they ask you for them, right? Mm-hmm. And then they tell me how pretty I look, even though I guess it's kind of a bittersweet thing. Have you ever regretted it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me about that. Um, one time I sent pictures to a guy that I didn't know. And um, he ended up putting the photos all over Facebook. And he sent them to my mom, to my brother's friends, posted them on my profile where everybody can see them. But luckily I was online when it happened so I could delete them right away. But still, I don't know who saw them. Would it embarrass you if your dad saw them? Oh, yeah. And I think he did when, um, like, like the one that got sent to my mom, I had like a bra and underwear on, but, um, yeah, it was really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Really, really embarrassing. So you want to share this with your parents? You, yeah. you want me to bring them in here and, and you want to tell them the truth? Mm-hmm. And because they really don't know the extent of this. Oh, no. And... And they know that you're going to tell them something that's upsetting. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know that. I mean, they're not, they don't think they're here for a game show. Oh, yeah. Um, 
And what's your hope <laughs> with how they react? I hope that they I understand they'll be upset. I just hope it that they're a little more understanding that it's not that I'm out to hurt anybody. Like, I'm not trying to, I don't know. I just hope that it goes well. Well, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, um, Lindsay's parents are going to join us, and we're going to have some truth-telling. We have a part of our website that's called Teen Talk. Mm -hmm. Because we deal with a lot of teen issues here. Your lovely daughter wrote in as part of the message boards on that website. And based on what we read and what she had to say, we thought that that was something that warranted intervention and, and dealing with. And you have said that you want to come clean about everything that's going on because you recognize this is self-destructive, right? So what did you want to say? The reason I brought you here is because um, I've had sex with at least five guys and I've sent pictures to at least 30. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. <clears throat> I, I'm taking a deep breath here because I promised you I wouldn't. I, I, I guess I, I thought... With, You're never going to understand. I, I, I guess that's my problem. I don't understand. I, I, I mean, I thought we had talked about this as, as a, a family. We had talked about different things. We had talked about sex. We had talked... I, 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 I thought we had this in... Boy, you really... You fooled us. You really snowed me. Because with the conversations we had, you just never talked. So there's more pictures out there than we know of from the one guy. Mm-hmm. Worse? Worse than what? Are you covered at all? Nope. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I just... This is something of you I never even expected. No. I thought we had a talk that you would... could talk to us about things like this. Talk to us about what's going on in your life. How do you tell your life? parents that you're sending pictures to everybody at school? Like, that's just not something you want to tell your parents. No, it's not. So, I guess the question is, why do you want to send pictures to everybody at school? Does it make... Does it help your self-esteem, or why, why would you even I want guess, to do that? like that. Yeah. I'd like to know, the guys that you've had sex with, are they older than you? Are they over 18? If they are, they're in big trouble. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are they over 18? Um, some have been. Let's be honest. And Let's how old were you when honest. this happened? Um, how old was I when I lost my virginity? Sure, start there. 14. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for that. That is so much to take on a 14. It's just, I just didn't want that for you, honey. And it's not that I, it's what I want for you because yeah, I'm just really sorry that I made um, that decision. And that boy was 19. Yeah. Was he? When you were 14. Yeah. I, I, we're going to know some names because there are some people that are going to go to jail. And if you th uh, they're going to jail, 19 knows better. 19 should have, he's an adult, he knows better. He took sorry. advantage of you. He honey. took you advantage of you. You're not old enough to make that decision. Mm -hmm. No, there's a reason why. At 18, and at 14, you don't get to make decisions, okay? It's because you're not, you're not mature enough to make those decisions. And if this boy did it at 19, guess what? 19 is 20. He's going to jail. And you know your father's going to push it. And if there's another kid, that one's going too. I'm, I'm not sorry. here to put people in jail. I'm here I to understand help that. myself. I'm not trying You're to put other yourself, people in jail. help yourself. But these kids, blame. I'm sorry. The focus here, I think, needs to be on why yes. you are so willing to devalue yourself. Why you are so willing to allow yourself to be used, even though you think you're the one doing the using. Because you want the male attention, so you think, I'm getting what I want, I don't care about them. 
that that is such an unhealthy level uh, of interaction here. This is a, this is you you could not have a healthy self worth and a healthy self esteem and be willing to do what you're doing. I think that this happening at age 14 in that way was a terrible violation of this child. I think it is a terrible violation of this child. I don't want you to be mad at her. I don't want you to be upset at her. I want you to understand that some things have happened to her that have changed the, the game, has changed the grid. Her perception is different. She is not a perpetrator. She is a victim here. It's one of the things she said that caused her to write us for help is that you constantly tell her how proud you are of her and she feels so guilty that the reality is you shouldn't be because she has let you down. That's not true. They love you. They hate this behavior. They hate that you have been so devalued that this is okay with you. But we need to help that. This is an anxiety-based, depression-based reaction due to molestation. And she needs your love and support, not she your judgment no, and, she has love and, and anger. Well, let's help her with this. Definitely. You can do nothing to make me not so proud of you. Okay? This is something that, okay, you screwed up. This is a big screw-up thing that we will all try to work together to fix and make it better for you. But you're still my daughter. I still love you. And I'm still proud as hell of you. I'm proud of you, too. I hate your behavior. But I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you wrote. And I'm proud that you're here looking your parents in the eye and getting this on the table. Thank you. Thank you for being the outlet for her to be able Thank to... Thank you for being the person she can talk to. Just give your daughter a hug. Yeah. We'll be right back. If you're a teen, go to DrPhil.com and you can click on Teen Talk. Now, we have all kinds of information on how you can have these difficult conversations with your parents. I mean, we'll give you some talking points. We'll give you a script. We'll tell you how you can broach this subject. And look, don't expect your parents to go, oh, great, thanks for sharing. I mean, parents are going to have kind of a shock reaction sometimes. But, you know, give us a break here. It takes us a while to wrap our minds around this and then, and then get on board. Now, if you're getting involved in drugs or sex, we're going to have the steps there for you to navigate those difficult times as well. Now, you can go to my Facebook page right now and join the conversation. Now, teens, I do want to hear from you. If you're hiding something from your parents, a great place to talk to other teens about this is on our message boards under Teen Talk. And parents, if you feel your teen is hiding something from you, it's a great way to get the discussion going. Go to those message boards and read through. And if they start getting a little nervous when you come to one subject matter or another, maybe that's a clue. Uh, I appreciate y'all for being here today, and we'll we'll stay in touch. Thanks so much. So. Thank you.